Hi actors, it's Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm going to talk to you about assistance. Assistance in the office. And I'll tell you why they're so critical to your success. In Los Angeles, and it works the same in, in Hollywood, in New York, in Chicago, in any place that you are. When you have a CEO of a company, we always have an assistant that works with us in the office. And our assistants are, are trusted people who work closely with us and have access to all of our knowledge, our resources, our information, our computers, our databases. They are part of our business, part of our life. And we value them. We're their coworkers, just like if you have any other job, um, you form relationships with them. And your friends, you know, and you trust their opinion. So let's say that you're trying to get an agent at you know, Gersh Agency or Metropolitan or just any agency. It's very important that you recognize and acknowledge the assistance because the assistance opinion weighs very heavily in the mind of the agent. Um, you, the assistant is someone when they answer the phone, you really should take the moment to say, hi, how are you? And find out their name and write it down. So let's say you're looking for an agent. You have picked five agencies, you've looked at them to see which ones are accepting new clients, you have the name of the agents you want to contact, now you're calling their offices. You need to write down the name of their assistant next to that, and then any notes during that conversation. So let's say, for example, you find out the assistant's name is Lori. Oh, hi, Lori, it's so nice to talk with you. Now, you want to send your headshot to Lori, not to the agent. You want to make that assistant feel important. And so your job is to say, Lori, I have, I'm an actor. I'd like to submit myself for representation to you. Could I send you my headshot and resume and demo reel? And if she says, sure, what's your email address? Okay, don't worry about the agent right now. Get the assistant's email address and contact information. Now, send that right away. And then, you know, you can call and follow up and say, hi, Lori, I just called to make sure you got that. Okay, great. Thanks so much. And, you know, I'd like to set up a meeting with uh, the agent if they're looking for new clients and anything you can do to pass along my information would be really appreciated. And hang up, okay? She has the power to take your resume into the person's office and hand it to them directly. Out of the pile that's on their desk, out of the hundreds of submissions they get, if you befriend that assistant, she will hand walk that headshot and resume or your email directly to the person she works for because she likes you. Okay, that is what, that's how powerful assistants are. And assistants are in every company. Agents, casting directors, heads of studios, networks. Your assistants are like the, the gatekeepers. Um, my assistant is here today. She, her opinion matters to me tremendously. If she walked in here today and said, hey, uh, I have this singer that I found or this actor that I found that I think you really should check out. You better believe I would honestly go and see whoever she's talking about because that's how much I value her opinion. So another thing you want to do is write down something they tell you. So if you're talking to that assistant, you know, and pretend this agent hasn't called you back yet, that's okay. Say in a couple weeks or a month or two, you follow up with that assistant again and she said she was going on a trip to Rome or someplace. You write that down in your notes because then when it's time to call them back, you say, hey, so Lori, how was your trip to Rome? And make sure you genuinely mean it because people can always tell when you're fake, you know? Act like you, don't act like you want, like really mean it. How was your trip to Rome? Did you have a good time? What did you see? The fact that you remembered her name, that you remembered that she went somewhere and that you're taking an interest in asking her how it was is all the more going to ingratiate you to her and make you more important to her and it makes her feel good to talk to you. And when she feels good talking to you, she will want to refer you to her boss. Okay, so please remember that assistants are the gatekeepers that can get you into doors you can't necessarily walk into on your own. Keep track of all the people that you meet, get their assistance information, and find your way in that way. It works. If you want to become a subscriber on my YouTube channel, go ahead. Visit my website, secretsofahollywoodtalentmanager.com. And uh, stay close to me. I always have so much great information that will help you really navigate this business in an authentic way. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.